Hello, my name is Fraser Merrick and I'm a sound artist and creative technologist and I want to tell you a little bit about my experiments with live streaming. This video is part of the Art Tech Play series. As an artist, I really enjoy using circuit bending, field recording and synthesis to explore creating uh, interactive and curious environments which explore the act of play. Uh, I'm really keen on using lo-fi technologies, so things like microbits, makey makeys, um, cassette tapes, mini discs, uh, and even creating some of my own instruments as well, so taking old keyboards and old toys and turning them into musical devices. When I'm creating these environments and transforming spaces, I'm really looking to encourage the audience to become the performer and maybe collaborate with someone they haven't met before or actually perform if they've never performed before. This sense of play is really key to my creative practice and it also feeds into my work as a composer as well. A lot of my work comes from me playing, um, circuit bending, uh, exploring places to find new sounds and sometimes that can be really hard to achieve when you're in a studio space. It can be quite stifling from uh, an improvisation point of view. So. Uh, when you can automate every single parameter, you, you know, you want to, you want to make it absolutely perfect and sometimes it can be hard to let those imperfections in. And that's what's really wonderful about live streaming that I've found is that it really encourages me to go out of that headspace and into more of a performative headspace where I embrace those imperfections more. So with my live streaming setup, um, it's actually come at a really good time because I've been exploring uh, solar panel microphones quite a lot lately. So this is where you use a solar panel to listen to the sound of light, or rather convert light into an audio signal. I've been using things like children's toys, bicycle lights, um, even hot tub lights uh, to create really wonderful textures and timbres. Uh, and it works really well for live streaming because you can see all these wonderful colours being cast and patterns, etc. So for my um, live streaming setup, I'm actually using my phone um, and I've got one of those cheap phone mounts that go into a mic stand and it just goes above my workbench and points downwards. And the benefit of using my phone over a webcam is that I've already got my phone. It, I didn't have to spend any extra money. Um, I did buy the OBS app because then I can connect my phone to uh, the OBS software, which is what I use to stream. I think I'm right to say that's about 15 pounds, um, but 15 pounds is much cheaper than buying an external webcam. So with that connected as my camera, I run an audio signal from my desk into my audio interface. Um, it does mean I have some cables kind of like cutting across the room, but I think that's a compromise I'm willing to take at the moment. Um, but I might look to invest into other equipment in the future. So I started off this by live streaming on other people's channels. So there's a lot of people now setting themselves up as online promoters. Um, and it's a really good way of discovering new audiences and introducing yourself to new people. Um, I'm kind of tapping into different people's YouTube channels or Twitch streams, etc. But I would really like to build more of my own audience on my own platforms. Um, and I think I can do that using these solar panel microphones because it's so um, visually eye-catching. Uh, I've got a really unique way of making music there. And that's what's really great about live streaming is that I can set myself these deadlines where I have to finish soldering that instrument or creating a new synth patch. Um, I'm developing my own skills, um, but in a way where I have to finish it by a certain time, which I know I need to really achieve certain goals. At the moment, I'm only really using a single camera setup, um, but I could definitely look to add a second camera for the future so you could see myself rather than just my hands and my instruments. Um, I think that would add more humanity to the stream as well because you would see me performing and my emotions. That would add quite a lot. Um, it may mean that I need to rearrange my studio, so there are some considerations there about how can I make sure I don't have to completely dismantle my room every time I want to perform. Uh, and also, like, what else can be happening visually? So, um, yes, I'm using lights to cast colours and shapes, um, but if I'm using a wider shot of the entire room, what else can be happening in the background? Do I want to add visual effects inside OBS itself? So there's definitely far more that I can be experimenting with, but I'm really excited about those experiments um, to see where this might go for me next.